Hi everybody. Today's question that I'm going to answer is how can I make my students or my child become a more fluent reader? It's a great question I got from Tiffany in Michigan and I thought if I answered this it would benefit many of you moms and teachers in helping how to help a child become a fluent reader. We all know that fluency is a good predictor of future reading comprehension success. Reading comprehension is where we want children to end up being very good at. Well, there are stepping stones along the way that are predictors to tell if your child is on track for being a fluent reader. So we want to make sure that they are fluently reading passages because when they're fluently able to decode text, then they're going to be able to free up their brain to comprehend what they're reading. They're not wasting their time or their energy on trying to decode and figure out what the words are. They're actually just able to fluidly read and comprehend the passage that they're reading. So what are some ways that you can help your child become a fluent reader? Number one is you need to make sure they have all of their phonics skills in place. And one way to do that is you can go over and download the free assessments that I have available. It'll tell you exactly whether your child has all the phonics components in place or whether you need to go back and do some extra filling in of any gaps. Once you know that your child has all of the phonics elements in place, then there are a couple things you can do to help them become a fluent reader. Number one is you want to model what it looks like to be a fluent reader. You want to model for children what, how a good reader sounds when they're reading. So before you do any fluency practice, you read the passage out loud and let the children see you modeling what it looks like to read with expression. Because we know fluency is just not all about speed reading. They have to be able to be reading with expression as well. So you want to make sure that you model it. And then number two, you want to make sure that you give children enough practice with the text. So that could be repeated readings. It's going to, the more you expose them to a passage, the more they're going to be exposed to words that will help them with their fluency. So repeated readings of the same passage is another way of helping to build fluency. And then third, you want to make sure one thing that's important is to practice their fluency at an, with a passage that's at their instructional level. You don't want to give them a difficult passage that has words in it that they're not able to decode or comprehend. You want to make sure that you give them a passage that is at their instructional level where they're all words that they can practice reading and that will help build their fluency. So following those three steps, along with making sure they don't have any phonics gaps, are how you can help your child become a fluent reader. So take note. Hope this helps you out. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, please head over to my Facebook page and ask away, and hopefully I'll choose your question. Thanks, and have a great day.